We're here at Sea Otter. We're gonna go talk to the people. We are here for the people. We got some people over here. Let's go talk to them. What we're doing, we're looking at this wonderful, wonderful Surly. It's got a little issue. We're gonna use the DAG3. So here we go, touching. Now flip, flip it up. Gently. Flip. Now rotate that thing. Now watch this bad boy. Here it comes, the DAG. Pass this one. Whoa! Now flip it back. Flip it back, and we want the same amount of point. Now look at that. You know, my the, the first boss I had, what he would say here, you can throw a cat through that. We're gonna bend this until you get about half that gap. Push, more, more, more. We have to exceed the yield point of that steel. A little more, a little more. You did make progress. That was good. A little bit. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, no way a cat's getting through yeah. that. Beautiful. That is how we align. I like it. A hanger at Sea Otter. Yeah, good thing it's not aluminum. No. <laughs> steel is real. real. Checking out Sea Otter at big events, one of the best things to check out is right here. Oh, no, no, not, not ice cream. Not the ice cream, I'm sorry. Little pump tracks and skill tracks. Let's go head on over and see some cool action. Oh, man. What's your name? Your Hayden. Hayden? Hayden. 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 So tell me about your bike here. Have you used it much? Yeah. Yeah, now let's have a look from the front to back. All right, we got wheels on tight, that's nice. But if we go up here and look at these bars, see this here, you know what we've done here? That's probably from crashing. Do you remember all of them? Yes, and then how's your gearing here? Oh, it looks good, it looks good. Gonna get a new bike next year? I won a frame. You won a frame? And, uh, and my dad's friend got me another bike. Are you gonna build the frame up? You're gonna learn some engineering and some threads and stress. That's gonna be cool. Rocket scientist. More action, more action here. We are here with? Uh, Lizzie. Lizzie. Lizzie has got, oh, nice bike here. Running the disc brakes, but over here, we got a little old school. My, um, I'm Peter and I, I like my bike a lot. I've been riding it for a while. And my favorite thing about this bike park is the jumps because I like to get air. And your favorite part? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I just really like just riding around and, and, you, and having fun. We got the old school going on. Oh, Marzocchi Bomber. The bridge here is all nice. Over here, this breaks rigid, the storm. And I like the two color. Very, very nice. Oh, this is good. Look at these kids. Look at these kids. This is a dead end, isn't it? Okay, we are here with Rob. Rob of Old Shovel. That's your uh, YouTube channel. That's right. That's my YouTube channel. Well, what were we uh, doing today uh, on, uh, out here at Sea Otter? So today I was building up a, a wicked fat chance. Um, for a local nonprofit bike shop for them to use as a fundraiser. Yeah, walk us through here because this is some pretty nice old equipment starting with the cantilevers. Yep, cantilever brakes with Richie Cool Stop brakes. Yep. Yep, it's an awesome bike. We've got an XT rear, rear derailleur for seven speed. Uh, that's a pretty tight little ratio here. Yep, a seven seat speed cassette. Those are narrower than your eight. 8 to 10. Yeah, not much range. No, not as much range. So you came here with the? A triple. The triple to get to yeah, give so you the got range. The, the Dior DX front derailleur. I like how cantilever, this is appropriate. You got that You got that carrier down low. Yeah, gives is you that the good? mechanical That's advantage. Good. Yes, it That's does. Good. It gives you nice, yeah, very, very sweet. Different compound on the front. Yep, the, oh, the better compound. And the nice the quill headset. Yep, threaded headset that gave us a little bit of trouble yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. Thank you, Calvin. It's been a pleasure to be here, too.
P83. P80. Where the heck are we? P83. So it's in it's in the grassy meadow here. The one closest to the bridge. You would call the grassy meadow close. P not 38. What's happening? We are at Rotor. R O T O R. Everyone here is named the same, which is kind of handy. We call you Rotor Joel. Do you have the cool uh, 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 shifter here? I do have the shift. I've We're gonna. This shifters. is what I want to see. I want to yeah. see the. Uh, this is what we want to see. Exactly. So here we're running a mineral oil. It's a mineral oil, Magura Royal Blood. So the we're, we're, it's a hydraulic shift system. Is that right? Correct. Yes. Okay. So we're pushing, pushing fluid in. Yep. Then what happens? We'll get our uh, derailleur here for a little bit of a uh, close-up. Oh, yeah, all the internals. So do you let mechanics get inside of here? Uh, you certainly can. Yeah. Thankfully, there's not much to go wrong. That's good. That's good. A lot of fun little stuff. This is like exactly. watch work, isn't it? Exactly. Rack and pinion here? Yep. So how many teeth along here? So it's a th it's 13 steps. 13 steps. So if yep. you're really good with a file, could you add a 14? Probably could, but yeah. that might be a little tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we shove the oil one way, it shifts inward. Correct. And then the spring... Uh, as you overcome a certain point in that uh, gearing travel, as it allows it to release and come back down the cassette. So one way is actually spring movement. Exactly. And then one way you're pushing with the oil. Correct. That yep. is so cool. We still use a standard return spring on our derailleur here. Yep, let's see that. So Red, there you go. The spring pulls it back and then oil pushes it the other way. Exactly. You can even release by hand. Yes. Very good yeah. for your wheel changes. Exactly. Quick wheel change. Well, thanks. Yeah, thanks, Calvin. All right. Good to see you. So we're rolling around Sea Otter. We're talking to different people, and, and sometimes things catch your eye. Let's get some names. Come on uh, in. Come on in. Name? Tree. Tree. OK. So and we're? Will. Will. Yeah. We're going to talk about some art, and that's what caught my eye. Right here. So this is Suminagashi. This is Japanese paper marbling. So what we're doing here is we're floating a little bit of ink on top of some water. We're using a positive color being black and a negative color being a wetting agent, also known as a, a wetting agent from a collect paint. And what we'll end up making is these little rings. Once we produce all these rings, we can then add movement to our art by either blowing on it, letting the wind happen, or using a small stick or piece of grass to make these little shapes. So no, Calvin, would right. you like to join us? Yeah, I would. And now try, let's talk about this. Why, okay, all right, why do we need this in our steam? Why do we need this for, for building bikes? Well, you know what he just talked about? That wetting agent has to do with adhesion. So all of you painters out there, or if you're gluing tubulars, mm. or how about adhesion in your sealants? Yes, wetting agents, right? Mm -hmm. So your surface tension, absolutely. Remember, everything is about bikes. Even this. Oh yes. So let's it. let's do it. Let's let's do one quick here and well, see, on see how. Okay. On this okay. So this is the wedding. Yep. And so then we'll this start is with the, the positive color. Yep. So go ahead and get real close to the surface with that and just touch off onto it. Just a little. Just, oh! Now follow it up with wedding agent, and you don't have to go in the center. Whoa. You can do on the You're side. right. You can do multiple. You can you can let your heart go wild. Oh, well, I kind of have a happy face here, but okay, we're gonna go just a whoa. There we go. There we go. Whoa, yeah, okay, I think, I think we're, and some breeze. Mm. A breeze, just don't mix up your brushes. Yes. Yes, I'm happy, right. I like it. Go ahead and grab a color. Now I'm gonna okay. slide. You can just drop it, slide it. The Whoa. effect that happens when you put it down will change the point, but here we go. Uh, I meant that to happen. Perfect, and now I'm gonna go ahead and move it over to your rinse real quick. Just up and over. Yep, yep. Give it a little, little shake off, and here's the big reveal. Calvin, are you an artist? Absolutely. What that, a great piece. That of is nice. Uh, I get a different. I didn't know. I didn't mean that. That's what oh, I meant. There we go. There Obviously. We go. <laughs> this is the dual slalom, and these guys are really going. Yeah, this guy did better. We're a little bit behind. Look at that. He's coming out. Man, disappointed. Here's a close one. Here's a close one. These two coming at right at it. Even, even, even. Any bobbles? Oh, gosh, too close to call. 
Oh, good one. Oh, that was nice. We're at the dual slalom qualifiers, I believe. Yep, and you're with? Martha Gill. And where are you from? Uh, Manchester in England. Oh, nice, nice, over in the UK. So, what we're here for? Bikes. We love bikes. You love bikes? I love bikes. Tell us about your bike. Um, so this is the Marin Rift Zone, 27.5. I usually ride a large, but this is a medium. Um, obviously the 27.5 wheels, yeah, kind of kitted it out for dual slalom, so. Give us some of the particulars on the dual slalom. What do you, what do you like that's different? Uh, slam the seat, no dropper post. Um, the gearing, got harder gearing and a smaller cassette. So closer, mm -hmm. closer sizes. Of the, um, and that there's some aggressive, aggressive Rubber, look at that, huge knobs. Did you pick those for today? Yeah, usually I have the WTB um, Trail Bosses front and rear, but it's pretty loose out there, so I yeah. put a video on the front just for a bit of extra grip in the corners. You're getting a little drift action? <laughs> a little bit, trying to trying to have grip more than drift okay. though. It's all good, good though, thank you, <laughs> cheers. We're now, we're now, we're still in the background here. Dual Swallow, and yep. you are? Uh, Tommy Zula. And your team? Uh, Airborne, Shimano, Fox, Deity, Kenda Tires. Okay, got a, got going, a good, going, good, going, going good program, that. fly yeah, racing, yeah, yeah. you know? The, at the bottom, you, in your bank account. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. So what caught, what caught my ear, we were talking to people and somebody say, I dropped a chain and boy, my yep. ear, boing. What happened? Uh, I actually didn't have my clutch on. Excellent. Yep, so when I came over to you, uh, brand new wheel set, cassette came loose, I snugged it up with you, didn't turn my clutch on, back chain on. popped off. So a lot of chain slap yep. going on, down so, up, down up. So make sure you got up. that clutch on for sure. Kids at home, you can see the overhaul and adjustment at parktool.com. Yeah. <laughs> good luck, man. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good day. That was good. That was good.